Traditional owners and ecologists are calling on the federal government to provide more support to Indigenous people so they can better manage some of Australia's most pristine landscapes and biodiversity hotspots. On the Northern Territory Queensland border, the federal government has just declared support for the latest in a network of Indigenous protected areas. But the Commonwealth is funding just five Indigenous ranges to protect this 11,000 square kilometre wilderness from wildfires, ferals and weeds. Jane Barden reports from the One Year Garawa Indigenous Protected Area in the Gulf of Carpentaria. It's the culmination of a 10 year struggle and the start of a new one. Deep in the Gulf of Carpentaria, the One Year and Garawa people have struck an agreement with the federal government, declaring 11,000 square kilometres of their land as the Ganalanga Mindabarina Indigenous Protected Area. People are coming back into the land, and today is a very special day. The government has agreed to help the clans return here from towns. Living on the land would mean they could better manage wildfires and feral animals and protect its biodiversity. Sean Cairns helped broker the deal. Because it's just so important to remember that the firework has been done on behalf of all Australians in terms of reducing greenhouse gas emissions. The population here has dwindled as schools and government employment programs have been steadily withdrawn. Iris Hogan is one of the few who stayed. The land itself is, is our medicine to our people, to us old people. The land itself just in, in, inspires us. She hopes the government will help more families return. We're really hoping to get some more funding so we can have fencing, putting and have our cattle and vegetable garden, whatever, to live out here. Without a community to hunt on this land and burn off, feral pigs, cattle and horses moved in. Biodiversity decreased and feral animals damaged sacred sites, including water holes. Traditional owners established a five-man ranger program to manage the land, but say it's not big enough. We got our fire rangers as a guy, but we want more ladies to join in the fire ranger so they can protect our sacred site, woman's site. They want more government support, providing jobs to draw their young people back to their country. We lost nearly half of our generation on petrol sniffing, half of our generation on drunkenness, half of our generation is killed, murdered because of drunks. We want to bring them home now where they got their right mind and living culturally and respecting culture and elders. The area includes spectacular rock formations including the China Wall. It's one of the most culturally important and biodiverse areas. Ten years ago, fire raised huge tracts of the land and neighbouring cattle stations. The Rangers Fire Control Program has helped reduce the threat. We got more food coming back to our land. We even got awareness back here in our country. Their young people have got a taste of ranger work from visiting scientists carrying out biodiversity studies. Hey. Hey, one of those two-line dragons. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's beautiful. Lovely little fellow. Yeah. When I was back home, I wasn't very interested in lizards. Now, the sort of lizards I found out here is very different, which I haven't seen in my life, some of the lizards. They'd like to do more, but that would require a significant increase in resources. I'd like to have a full-time job, actually. Yeah, I really like it. It's a huge area. We'd like to get more uh, younger rangers involved and, um, and maybe get some lady rangers involved as well. Many more surveys are needed. There's a range of species that are threatened that could be here, including Carpentaria grass wrens, car Carpentaria rock rats. Scientists and non-government organisations are already providing some support but they hope the clans will get more government funding. You need people on country who have connection to the country, who know how to manage that country, otherwise we're going to be faced with another um, period of extinctions. Aboriginal people talking with the Australian government are happy to partner and help out, but the Australian government puts the minimum amount in for them to be able to do the work and grow the programs. It's been a day of celebration here, 
But the strongest message coming from the families who own this land is that they're going to need the support of both government and non-government organisations if they're going to really protect its biodiversity and keep its culture alive. Jane Barton, ABC News.